objective is to use words and arrangements of words that effectively uh, communicate the message and make big pictures of, of what she's trying to tell. And uh, I don't know how she knew, but she basically uh, stole some ideas on, on, on what my next speech is going to be about. Her speech today is titled, My Pregnancy Experiences. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please help me give a warm welcome to our speaker, Jenny Lee. Well, seven years ago, I was pregnant with my first child. She is six and a half years now. And I decided to uh, tell people at my office on April Fool's Day that I'm pregnant. So I'm walking around telling people that I'm pregnant. And everyone didn't believe me because obviously they're like, it's April Fool's Day, but the next day I did it again and said, okay, forget the fact that yesterday was April Fool's Day, today I'm still pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so, fast forward eight months, I'm starting to experience, you know, all the symptoms of pregnancy, the feeling of baby and, and everything, and one night on my eighth month, I started feeling this terrible pain in my back, and those of you who knows and heard of the word contraction contraction is the feeling a woman has when baby is about ready to be born. Well, I was starting to feel like I, my first pregnancy, I did not understand what this word is. Even if I tried reading it, it cannot describe, uh, cannot convey or describe what the feeling is. So I will let you know. I will give you a little bit uh, um, of, a, of a definition, of my definition of what a contraction is. If you've ever, for, for a, a male, if you ever had back pains from sitting so long, imagine that pain struck, feeling like it's gonna stretch out in, in your back and, ex, and, and, and about to explode. <laughs> For a female, if you haven't had children, just imagine the same thing, but, but you feel like something in your, in the back of your, in your intestine just kind of like stretching out and it wants to explode. <laughs> That's the best description I can give you because it's, it's, it's a, hard, a hard pain to deal with, especially when you have no medication. Well, I didn't know what that pain was. I'm just feeling it, and it goes, it, it, it expands, and it releases, and expands and releases every few minutes or so. Well, I decided that I think these are contractions. I'm going to call the hospital. I'm going to drive down to my registered hospital, and, you know, after a few hours of them pricking and probing me, they decided to tell me that this is false labor. I'm not going into labor. I'm only... I'm, 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 I still have a few days before I can, um, I can give birth. Well, that night I went home and those pains started to get worse. And it got so bad that I'm lying in bed on my side because my belly is so big that if I lie on my back, I would feel like the baby is crushing my intestine. And it's not a comfortable feeling. So I had to lie on my side and feeling this pain, I just laid, laid there and cried because I, I didn't want to run back to the hospital so they can release me and say that it's another false labor. They decided to just lay there and cry and cry and cry until I just, uh, I, you know, I feel this pressure in my bladder that you know, I need to go, I need to go number one. <laughs> I need to go, I need to go use the restroom. So I went to use the restroom and this is, I would say around midnight. I had to get up to go use the restroom. I went and, you know, went to go pee and I felt this sudden like explosion and this sudden urge to push this baby out. I screamed at the top of my lungs, woke up the neighbors, my in-laws ran out of their room and everyone's coming to me I'm like, oh my God, I need to push this baby out right now. And I'm screaming and I'm crossing my leg and I'm, I, I really wanted to push this baby out and everyone in the house said, you can't, you can't. Just... But we had a, um, a hospital that was about three blocks away from us, which is not my registered hospital. I was planning to go and have this, this child in the hospital <laughs> in Long Beach, and I live in Monterey Park, so this is about a 30-minute drive, but this is a planned pregnancy, so I'm planning to give birth at this hospital that I wanted to. It didn't happen. Well, anyway, so now I'm screaming at the top of my lungs because this urge to push is so extreme that I, I just, all I can do was scream, and my husband rushed me downstairs, got in the car, and all I can do is continue to scream and just cross my leg and hoping that 
you know, this intense pain is not going to make me, like, I, I, I won't give in to this urge to push. Well, anyways, I got to the, um, I got in the car driving, I rolled down the windows because I'm so hot, and I stick my head up because I need to scream outside instead of inside, and I just, you know, you've, you've heard of stories where a woman grabs her husband's collar and says, you did this to me. Well, I didn't do that to him, but I said, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that to him because he's driving, but I said, you need to drive and run every single red light there is. I don't care if the police is following you, chasing after you, but he will understand once we stop the car in front of the emergency room. And which he did, he ran every red light, and we got there. I ran into the hospital um, maternity ward screamed, saying that I need to push, I need to push somebody, get a doctor, and of course, because it's not my hospital, they have to call an emergency doctor to come in. And I got in, you know, the, the nurses checked to see how far along I am to be able to deliver. She didn't have to go far. She said, oh, the baby's ready to come out. Everybody rushed me to the, the labor room, got me ready, but the doctor hasn't arrived. It's been about 30 minutes, so this is around one o'clock now. That <laughs> it's been an hour after I've been I've been wanting to, to push this baby out, and I I lay there on the table for the bed that they have for me, just waiting. And then finally, about a couple minutes later, when I I, I laid there, the doctor arrived. Not my doctor. He, he he did what he needed to do, and which I'm I'm really glad. Whatever he did for me, only had me. Um, push twice. He said, okay, you're ready to push. Push this baby out. I pushed once and he said, okay, just try it one more time. I took a deep breath, pushed it as hard as I can, and she popped up. <laughs> I can hear her crying and I was relieved. It's the best release you've ever, <laughs> you'll ever have. So it was, it was a nice experience. It was a really crazy experience. And, um, but it was, it was a memorable, a memorable story. I can tell anybody who's you know, having um, a child for the first time, but I would only tell them if I want to scare them. <laughs>